Beneath the ocean surface, two predators rule, orcas and great white sharks. When food runs low, these giants clash in deadly battles. Who's faster, who's stronger, and who will come out on top? These apex predators are the ocean's ultimate hunters, each with unique skills. The killer whale's intelligence and teamwork meet the great white's power and bite in a battle for survival. Stick around till the end as we break down every round, speed, size, feeding habits, and more strategy, and reveal who truly rules the ocean, and why one predator may never recover from this encounter. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe so you never miss out on our upcoming videos. Let the battle begin. Round 1. Size. The Bigger Beast. When it comes to raw size, the killer whale wins by a landslide. A typical adult female great white shark can measure up to 20 feet, 6 meters, and weigh around 2,200 kilograms, 4,850 pounds. Impressive? Absolutely. But when compared to a fully grown male killer whale, the size gap is massive. Orcas can grow up to 32 feet, 10 meters, and weigh as much as 6,600 kilograms, 14,550 pounds. That's nearly three times the weight of their shark counterpart. The orca's larger size means more muscle power, greater lung capacity, and the ability to deliver devastating body blows. Unlike the solitary Great White, which relies on stealth and speed, the orca can use its bulk for strategic strikes, like ramming prey at high speed. And size doesn't slow it down. Orcas are astonishingly agile despite their mass. Size also plays into dominance. Great Whites have been known to flee areas where orcas are present. It's not just about being bigger, it's about being built to intimidate. In this category, the killer whale earns an undeniable victory. Round one goes to the orca. Round two, speed, chase of the deep. Speed in the ocean can be the difference between life and death. Great white sharks are known for their explosive bursts of speed, reaching up to 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. This is especially lethal when combined with their ambush tactics. They often strike from below with terrifying force, catching seals and other prey off guard. But the killer whale is no slowpoke. Orcas can hit speeds of 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour, thanks to their powerful tails and streamlined bodies. What's even more impressive is their ability to maintain speed over longer distances. Unlike the shark, which tires more quickly, the orca can sustain high speeds during prolonged chases. In a straight-up sprint, the orca is faster. But agility matters too. The great white can make tighter turns and navigate narrow spaces better, especially in shallow waters. Still, when comparing overall speed and endurance, the killer whale comes out on top. Its muscular build and lung capacity make it a top-tier aquatic sprinter. Another point for the orca, making it two for two. Round three, intelligence, brain versus bite. The killer whale is often called the wolf of the sea, and for good reason. These marine mammals are astonishingly intelligent. They use teamwork, communicate with complex vocalizations, and even teach each other hunting techniques. Orcas have been seen creating waves to knock seals off ice flows, mimicking other animals, and using bait to lure prey. When it comes to intelligence, they're right up there with dolphins and chimpanzees. On the other hand, the great white shark operates mostly on instinct. It has a highly developed brain for a fish, especially in terms of sensory processing, but it lacks the social and strategic thinking seen in orcas. Sharks rely on their senses and reflexes, not problem-solving or cooperation. One of the most telling signs of orca intelligence is how they hunt sharks. Some orcas have figured out how to flip great whites upside down inducing a state called tonic immobility, which paralyzes the shark temporarily. This allows the orca to feast on the liver, a nutrient-rich organ. Intelligence in the wild is about adaptation and innovation, two areas where the killer whale shines. Round three, another decisive win for the orca. Round four, feeding habits. What's on the menu? Both animals are apex predators, 
but their feeding habits tell different stories. The great white shark is a solitary hunter, preying on seals, fish, and even whales in rare cases. It uses surprise attacks, coming from below and biting with incredible force. After the bite, the shark often retreats to let its prey bleed out before returning to feed. Killer whales, however, are more methodical. They hunt in pods and use coordinated attacks. Some orcas specialize in eating fish, others prefer seals or even whales. A particularly chilling behavior has emerged in recent years. Some orcas are targeting great white sharks specifically for their livers. Rich in fats and nutrients, the liver is removed with surgical precision, often leaving the rest of the shark untouched. This behavior not only showcases the orca's intelligence, but also highlights its efficiency. It's not about eating whatever's available. It's about knowing what part of the prey provides the most value. The great white is powerful, but the orca is strategic. When it comes to feeding, the killer whale wins again. Round four goes to the black and white assassin of the sea. Round five, adaptability. Masters of the ocean. Adaptability is crucial for survival and both species have impressive resumes. The great white shark has existed for millions of years with little change. It has survived multiple mass extinctions, adapted to different temperatures, and honed its body into a perfect killing machine. Their migratory patterns take them across oceans, always in search of the next meal. Orcas, however, take adaptability to the next level. Found in every ocean, from Arctic ice fields to tropical seas, orcas have evolved into distinct ecotypes. Some focus on fish, others on marine mammals, and a few specialize in hunting sharks. These pods not only differ in diet, but also in behavior, vocalizations, and hunting strategies. They adapt not just biologically, but culturally. Where the great white thrives on instinct, the orca adapts through learning and teaching. This cultural transmission gives them a remarkable advantage in changing environments. Climate change, prey scarcity, and human encroachment are challenges both face, but orcas appear better equipped to adjust. In the battle of adaptability, the killer whale once again edges out its rival. While both are survivors, the orca is a master of change. Round 6. Senses. Battle of Perception. The great white shark's sensory capabilities are nothing short of extraordinary. It can detect a single drop of blood in the water from miles away. Even more impressively, sharks can sense the electromagnetic fields emitted by the muscles of nearby animals. This electrosensory system is critical for locating prey in dark or murky waters. Orcas also possess exceptional senses. Their vision is sharp both above and below the surface. Their sense of hearing is even more advanced, aided by echolocation. By emitting sound waves and interpreting the returning echoes, orcas can see with sound, much like bats. This allows them to detect objects, navigate, and hunt even in total darkness. While the shark's senses are highly specialized for hunting, they lack the versatility of the orca's sonar capabilities. Echolocation not only allows orcas to find prey, but also to communicate and coordinate with pod members. Both animals are sensory marvels, but the orca's broader range of perception gives it the edge. The ability to see with sound adds another layer to their already impressive arsenal. In the perception battle, the killer whale swims ahead once more. Round 7 Tactical Combat, the Killer's Arsenal In the realm of marine combat, few predators rival the tactical brilliance of the killer whale. Orcas are not just brutes, they are strategic assassins. Whether it's ramming seals off ice flows, flipping stingrays upside down, or launching coordinated attacks on massive prey, orcas exhibit remarkable battlefield intelligence. Their use of teamwork is akin to military operations, with pod members playing specific roles to disorient, trap, and finish off their target. They communicate through clicks and whistles, adjusting tactics on the fly based on the target's behavior. When targeting sharks, especially great whites, killer whales display surgical precision. They don't attack blindly. They go straight for the liver, 
a nutrient-rich organ they somehow know to target. This behavior suggests an extraordinary combination of experience, learning, and biological insight. Once flipped onto their backs, sharks enter tonic immobility, a catatonic state that renders them helpless. Orcas exploit this to devastating effect, killing sharks without much resistance. Great white sharks, in contrast, are ambush predators. Their strategy is simpler. Strike hard, bite deep, then retreat to avoid retaliation. It's a method that works wonders against unsuspecting seals or fish, but against an orca, it's not nearly enough. Great whites fight alone, lacking both the social coordination and the refined tactics orcas wield. Their speed and bite force are legendary, but their battle IQ falls short. In this round, it's not just muscle that wins the fight, it's mind. The orca is a tactician, a marine genius with the weaponry to match. Against such a coordinated and calculated threat, the great white is simply outclassed. This bout goes to the killer whale again. Round 8. The Deep Dive. Who owns the depths? As the battle sinks into the abyss, the playing field shifts, and for the first time, the great white shark has a shot at dominance. These apex predators can dive to incredible depths, over 1,100 meters, 3,600 feet, exploring parts of the ocean few creatures dare to reach. These deep, cold waters serve as both a hunting ground and a sanctuary, giving the shark access to prey like squid, deep sea fish, and even carrion. More importantly, it offers a vertical escape from threats like killer whales. Killer whales are no strangers to the deep either. They can dive between 500 to 1,000 meters, 1,640 to 3,280 feet, and exceptional individuals have been recorded going deeper. However, as air-breathing mammals, they must return to the surface to breathe. This limitation means they can't stay submerged indefinitely. In contrast, great whites, with their gill-based breathing system, are free to roam the dark trenches of the ocean floor for longer periods without resurfacing. Still, the orca is not easily outmatched. Their echolocation allows them to navigate and hunt even in pitch-black waters, and their powerful tails propel them with astonishing speed. In a pod, they could still outmaneuver a lone shark. But if the fight becomes a drawn-out pursuit in the crushing cold and pressure of the deep, the shark's endurance might provide an edge. This round doesn't end in a knockout, but rather a survival draw, tilted just slightly in the shark's favor. The great white finds a rare moment to breathe, figuratively speaking, taking advantage of the one domain where the killer whale's dominance starts to fade. It's a narrow win, but a win nonetheless for the deep-sea king of solitude. And finally, the drum roll, please. The moment of truth. Who really rules the ocean? After eight intense rounds, the results are clear. The killer whale dominates in size, speed, intelligence, adaptability, tactical combat, and perception. Its only weakness? Deep dives, where the great white may have a slight edge. The orca's combination of brains and brawn makes it the undisputed ruler of the ocean. Whether hunting in packs or alone, it demonstrates an understanding of its environment and its prey that few animals can match. The great white is a fearsome predator, but when faced with the orca, it becomes the hunted. Still, these encounters are rare. Most of the ocean remains vast and mysterious. The Great White continues to be a top-tier predator in its own right. But in a head-to-head -head showdown, the killer whale walks away as the true apex predator. It's not just about being deadly, it's about being smarter, faster, and more adaptable. And in every one of those categories, the orca reigns supreme. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us through this epic underwater showdown. Now, we want to hear from you. Who do you think truly rules the ocean? the mighty okras, or the legendary great white shark. Drop your thoughts and favorite moments in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss our next deep dive into nature's fiercest battles.
Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.